going on, guys? Hey, guys. Uh, my name is Anthony Takella. Uh, I just got top 16 at ARG uh, Circuit Series San Jose. Yeah. And I played a, a 60 card deck. All right. <laughs> and I got this uh, ugly ass mat. If anybody <laughs> wants it, it's for sale. And so uh, let me just do that so that we don't have to look at that for however long this video takes. All right. All right. Uh, so to start off, I played 60 cards. Uh, I played that grass looks greener. Oh, and man. then 59 bad cards. <laughs> uh, for hand traps, we got three ghost ogres. Uh, this card's good. Three ash blossom. That card's really good. Uh, three drone lockbirds. This is the best hand trap. Uh, it usually is just a card that says your opponent ends their turn. New max. And then uh, mm -hmm. one performance damage juggler. Uh, there were a shit ton of FTK players today. And so this actually came in clutch a lot. Uh, along with that, it actually saved my ass when I was about to get OTK'd a couple times. Nice. Uh, so that's it for the hand traps. For the zombies, uh, two Yuna zombies, uh, three Mizuki, uh, three Solitaire, a Spirit Master, and a Gozuki. Just the standard uh, zombie lineup. Uh, there isn't really anything I would change on this. Uh, Light Swarms, I played as few as possible because these cards suck. <laughs> um, three Wolf and two Raiden. Uh, two Raiden is just for searching and then Wolf is just because you want to mill it. Um, I opened Wolf, I wanna say 75% of the games. I opened at least one. Uh, for plants, we got the Lone Fire package and then the Predator Plant package. Uh, I only opened Cobra twice the whole weekend. And then uh, random cards, we got three Snows, because that card uh, shouldn't exist. Uh, two Garnets, because I don't like uh, my Brilliant Fusion not working. Uh, one Trick Clown, one Hat Tricker. This card is also good against FTK decks. Uh, if you somehow manage to go first, uh, you just drop this, and then they have to attack over it, and so you protect it with snow, and then while this is on the field, they can't FTK you. Oh. Uh, one Giant Rex, one Goblindeberg, and one Thousand Blades. And the Goblinberg is mainly there just as an extra target for Invoker. Uh, for spells, Rota, Reborn, and Soul Charge. I don't play Foolish because that card sucks, at least in this deck. Uh, for the rest of the spells, we got three left arms, so I'm playing four grass, uh, three charge, three desires, three brilliance. Um, it's just consistency cards, they're standard. And then I main deck two evenly match. Ooh, spy uh, I was main decking three, but I cut one for that uh, Goblin Bird. And honestly, it's too good to not main deck. Uh, since Unizombie, you can't attack anyway, so just doing this uh, on your turn, you evenly wipe their board and then main phase two, you do your Unizombie combos, it works amazing. So that's it for the main deck. Uh, like I said, I played Grass and 59 bad cards. <laughs> um, extra deck, we got Goku, uh, Link Monsters, we got Missus, Decode, uh, Bay, Saryuja, and Borolode. Um, the only card I wish I had played was an Underclock Tank, but I don't know what I would have cut for it uh, when it comes to links. Um, for Exceeds, we played Invoker, Minerva, Amaterasu, uh, Baguska, and Tornado. Um, honestly, I summoned every single one of these cards throughout the weekend. Uh, I know a lot of 60 card players are cutting Baguska. I think they're stupid for doing that because this card is still really, really good. Uh, just because there, there are going to be instances where you're, like, against Masterpiece, they have to tribute spells and traps, and they can't tribute a monster. So you just go Baguska, and then you're able to make the rest of your plays. Uh, at least uninterrupted. And then uh, for Synchros, uh, Black Rose, Scarlet Red Dragon, and Double Omega. I didn't play Michael, I played Scarlet instead. Uh, Michael's okay, because it's just single removal, but I feel like this is so much better because you can just go for game with this. Whereas Michael just gets rid of one problem. And then uh, one Seraphonite, because you kind of need that card. Did you ever miss Dweller at all this weekend? No. Um, I played against two true, Dra two true Dracos, and I was just in control of the game the whole match. So uh, Dweller didn't really matter at all. For sure. Um, 
for my side deck, we got three auto win cards. We got three more auto win cards. Uh, we have uh, three cards that help me win. Uh, we have two Veilers. Uh, I cited these just uh, for whenever I was going second, uh, just as extra hand traps to help protect me. And then uh, four Kaijus, uh, just to help with spot removal. Yeah. Is there anything to side that you wish you would have side this weekend at all? Um, not that I can think of, no. Uh, my side was pretty spot on. Um, the or no, the only card I think I would have put in was Breakthrough Skill. Breakthrough Skill? Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about the third evenly? The third evenly? I don't think I needed it. Okay. Um, the thing about evenly is it you can activate it a lot more often than uh, you normally would be able to in any other deck because of Curious. You can just add it back mm -hmm. when Curious leaves the field. So I know I did it at least once where they attacked my Curious uh, to clear my board. And that was their last attack, and I just added back an evenly. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty insane. Yeah. Uh, what were your matchups today? Um, I played memo. against two True Dracos. I beat both of them. I played against two 60-card decks. Uh, one of them was Elvis. He went undefeated in Swiss. And then the other was, was Jonathan, and I think he lost in top 16. And then... Uh, I played against two FTK decks, one Gem Knight, one Pendulum. <laughs> uh, the Gem Knight player didn't open his FTK at all, and the Pendulum player punted game three. <laughs> so that's how I got into top. And then uh, I played a couple of Trick Stars too, I think. Uh, honestly, it was just a long weekend. What was your top 16 matchup? My top 16 matchup was against uh, normal Pendulum Magicians, and I actually lost that because I completely forgot that he had a face-up uh, purple poison, and I popped it with Spirit Master, like forgetting that it was a purple poison. Gotcha. And so that just stopped my line of play, and that made me lose. And then game one, he opened Triple Chalice on me. Damn. Yeah. Uh, any shout-outs? Uh, shout-outs to my girlfriend, Sumer, for putting up with all my shit. <laughs> um, shout outs to my brother Daniel over here yep. uh, for always helping me out and then uh, theorizing this game. Uh, shout outs to the team, Jobber, best team in the game. Uh, shout outs to Genesis for being the homies and always uh, hooking us up on cars, really. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're, waiting for, we're waiting for top 16 and we're like, oh shit. We might get called for having to replace cards. And he's, the, o and he's the only person with any cards on him. I'm ending support. I'm and so, uh, yeah. Uh, shout out to everybody from Stockton uh, for uh, supporting us through this. Shout out to the Sacramento Boyos for giving us a place to stay last night. Yeah, okay. um, Russell, you're not getting your 20 bucks. You're definitely not getting your 20 bucks. <laughs> you're definitely not getting your 20 And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. All right, man. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank and, you guys. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Yep. Uh, we will be posting the Jobber link down in the description. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Take it guys. easy, guys. Thank you.